when we purchased the hotel, it was in a bit of disrepair. It hadn't had a lot of work done in a long time. It has an incredible history that's a really important part of the North. The whole building has been renovated from top to bottom in an exact replica of the original from when it opened in 1910. The modern day Caribou Hotel will end up with a neighborhood pub on the main floor as well as a restaurant, and then we'll have 11 rooms upstairs. Well, when we purchased the hotel, we'd heard lots of stories about hauntings and experiences with the paranormal in the building. When the hotel was built by the Gideons, so this was in 1909, it was a fellow named W.H. Simpson that did the building. And uh, since we've been in the hotel, and certainly since we've been reconstructing it, we hear hammering all the time. There was one afternoon Jamie and I were in here, and it was a day like today. It was really, really quiet in the community, and we'd locked the door behind us, and there was nobody in the building. And all of a sudden, we heard up upstairs some hammering going on. It was distinctly in this building. So we think it was WH doing the work. Mrs. Gideon is really the most prominent spirit that we have. She and her husband were the ones that built the hotel and it's her ghost that they say haunts the hotel. We have lots of stories of her knocking on doors. And we've seen her with Polly on her shoulder looking out of the window. And then we've actually had instances where she's visited people in the night. I leased the hotel in 1969, 1970, so I had it for 12 months. I had an incident where uh, I was in bed. You know how sometimes you get a feeling that somebody's looking at you, you know? And I looked up and there was this woman standing in the door, looking inside the room. Then she walked up and over to the bed. She got right to the foot of the bed. Didn't say anything. She just glared at me. I associated her with the chamber woman, Agnes Johns. I said to her, Ag Agnes, what are you doing here? But she didn't communicate at all. I jumped out and put a house coat on. She turned around and I followed her out. When I got to the top of the stairs, I never heard anything. You have to go down the stairs, go around a corner and go down the stairs. I would have heard something. And by the time I got to the bottom of the stairs, I would have caught up to her if she was there. There was no sign of anybody. And in the morning, I started the bar. The bar opened at 9 o'clock in the morning, the beer parlor. And Johnny Johns came in and was talking to me. I said to Johnny, to repeated this whole story. And then he said, you just described Mrs. Gideon. We were approached by Canada Post to see if maybe the hotel could be included as part of the Haunted Canada series of postage stamps that highlight haunted places in Canada. And they've created a stamp with Mrs. Gideon in the hotel. After all of the stories and the experience people have had, even just since I've been involved with the hotel, I'm a believer. I think Mrs. Gideon is alive and well living on the other side there. She's still running the hotel as far as we know. <laughs>